tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. When you watch a spherical panorama movie, a virtual reality movie, you run into a problem projecting it onto a surface like a screen. So typically this is a 360 degree video I did with a 360 degree camera and if you will look at it in the normal way, in the flat way, it looks like this. this may be quite nice but uh, this is not a surround image at all because the car appearing on the right hand side has just uh, come on the left side like the bus is coming now on the left side and uh, it will return on the right side so everything is wrong here although this is quite aesthetically pleasing we can create such scenes in Maya obviously and there's a camera in Arnold which renders this this is the rendered animation now I can activate the 360 degree view and have a look at everything, have a look at the floor for example or the sky so I can turn around and navigate my view. What I cannot do is navigate the camera because the camera does a certain motion and that's the camera motion I did in Maya and what from what I've heard um, you can export the camera to After Effects for example and probably other compositing programs and then animate the cameras there which is maybe a little bit more versatile I don't really know I have no experience with this a problem I see here is that um, I can move horizontally in, in that scene but when the animation runs I get a tilted view like this when I now the horizon is tilted by 44 degrees now it's okay and it's tilting back again I don't know how to fix this but uh, this is uh, I mean this is just uh, I give you the uh, the recipe how to create such a scene so let's jump into Maya now this is the view we currently saw and when I switch it over to perspective one shape I get this view here with the Sun here the four spheres which come flying down and land here uh, in the sky at the beginning of the animation more or less here we're at frame 170 now and I can change the view of the camera for example I can now you see the logo is more or less in the proper orientation but I can also at this point rotate the camera so it looks back which would be really irritating I set a keyframe here um, would be really irritating for the viewer this motion here of the camera is really dramatic for a VR uh, viewer who looks through into the scene through his or her virtual reality goggles so uh, you better don't do that but you have to get a feeling for that I personally don't uh, I use a lot of VR applications but I I'm not familiar with programming camera motions I only know that motion sickness is a very critical thing here you need to consider that so when we re-render re this now the scene the camera looks back and uh, when you've rendered the whole sequence with the motion camera then of course the viewer can look in any direction he or she likes but uh, he or she needs to follow the motion of the camera the viewers head is the camera uh, the, the viewer is inside that camera and when you turn the camera here in Maya the viewer needs to turn his head as well if he wants to focus on on this logo for example he needs to turn around on his chair so uh, you need to keep this in mind uh, other than that you need to consider that um, everything is visible in this scene it's like a, in a real life virtual reality shot where you need to hide in order to get yourself out of the picture you need to hide behind a tree or, or something like that 
Um, when you render this whole sequence, it's just an ordinary rendering. Uh, in the student version, you need to use the render sequence option here. Just use this option and you render that camera and then you get, um, in my case, 500 frames, uh, single images, and you have to bind them together into, combine them together into one file. I did that in um, Media Encoder. You could do it in uh, Final Cut Express, Premiere, uh, After Effects, etc. In order to use it for YouTube, you need to inject some code so YouTube interprets it correctly as a 360 degree uh, video where you can navigate in. It's called Spatial Media Metadata Injector and in it, it's an XA here in the in the in the Windows world and you can get it for Mac OS as well. Before we quit let me show you something not totally different but some kind of different. You have the possibility to use 360 degree scenes, photographs, videos in uh, Wikipedia. And this is the uh, media resource of Wikipedia, which is called Wikimedia Commons. And uh, I took this photograph just the other day with my drone. The drone was taking, I think, 24 pictures and stitching the pictures together at the same time while taking the picture, I guess. And uh, so I didn't do much about this. And since uh, I think 2018, Wikimedia has a plugin which automatically displays here. Uh, this is the German view of the of this page. It looks basically the same in English and Chinese. Uh, but you have a 360 degree option here. And when you click here, you see this picture opening in a 360 degree viewer. And that's basically the same thing which we just did in Maya, uh, with the exception that the camera here is not moving. The camera is straight 50 meters up from one of these buildings here, looking all over town. This is the Cologne Cathedral here. This is the television tower. This is the city council. And these are the bridges and this is the River Rhine and you, you can look at everything here like the like the sun <laughs> which looks a little bit nicer here uh, than in uh, in our rendering. Okay having said this um, feel inspired to do virtual reality 360 degrees spherical that's all basically the same spherical photography and computer animations in Maya. Bye bye. <laughs>